Are you constantly wondering if your characters are well-rounded or flat and cringy? Today I'm diving into three things you need to avoid when writing your characters. Stick around to learn more. Hey guys, Noor here and welcome back to my channel. For those visiting for the first time, hello, I'm the fantasy author of the novel Divinity Falling. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe for weekly writing advice videos. Whenever I read stories by inexperienced writers, I notice the same mistakes come up. These mistakes are usually very small, but when they add up, they transform a story into a big mess. However, they are easily avoidable, as long as you are aware of them. So let's dive in. Number 1. Making your characters stereotypical You have the mean jock, the smart Asian, the stuck-up rich kid, the ugly nerd, and so on. Yeah, don't do that. Sometimes you can pull these off if you're not being forceful about the way these characters are portrayed. But in general, doing this tends to come out as a major stereotype. So avoid making your characters like this whenever possible. Number two, making your characters constantly get distracted. Again, this is a trend with newbie writers. Characters are all over the place. They notice things that don't really matter and comment about things that are pointless to the story. For example, a main character will be in the middle of cracking a mystery and another character will show up and point out something random happening nearby. Was this distraction necessary? I've also seen a similar version of this, but instead of a character showing up, our main character receives a phone call informing them about some nonsense that we don't really care to learn about. Don't do this. It doesn't make your story interesting. Avoid it like the plague. Number three, making your characters stare at themselves in the mirror and describe themselves. I've talked about this before in previous videos, but I will talk about it again. Don't make your characters stand in front of a mirror and describe themselves. They already know what they look like. Why would they have a rundown of their features? Do you ever just get up in the morning, stare at yourself and think, hmm, I have brown eyes, curly hair, crooked teeth and freckles? No, of course not. So why would your character do this? If it's not a realistic human-like behavior, don't do it. So that's all I have for you today. I'd love to know, have you ever made any of these mistakes? Don't be shy, we don't judge here. Let me know in the comments. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I put out weekly writing advice videos that will take your story to the next level. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media to see what I'm up to from day to day and to chat with me. And before we go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Sarah Frain and Lori B from my shout outs here over on Patreon, as well as all my amazing patrons. You are all the best. Thank you so much for your support. And remember, North for President.